कि इसके लोग किसी क्रिमिनल एक्टिविटी में इन्वॉल्व नहीं होते तो क्रेडिट गोज टू वेरी पैक लाइक दीज आर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो इसलिए मेरा ये था कि इन लोगों ने जिस दर्जन दिन के साथ आए हैं ये जब मैं लास्ट टाइम न्यूयॉर्क गया तो डॉक्टर साहब ने जब ये आइडिया मेरे सामने रखा आई वॉज सरप्राइज We we uh, working with uh, AP Pack and Dr. Ahmad, we decided that it would be great to approach this on a state by state basis because then geopolitics does not enter into the agreements that we make. We identified the areas of education, uh, economic development, and in health. And we came here last October with a dream, with a dream that we could draw our countries together and respectively improve the quality of life for both our countries. Now we found that in the area of health, that there were uh, you. We have a shortage of nurses in New York, and here in Pakistan, you have an abundance of nurses. So we had a series of meetings after we left, and we ended up uh, putting together some of your nursing schools, some of your agencies here who recruit recruit nurses, and our uh, officials in New York and our hospitals who suffer from uh, that uh, deficit of nurses, that shortage of nurses, and. We found out that it was an obstacle because visas, work visas to the United States, used to take over 400 days before before they would even get an answer uh, from about the visa. Now, after meeting with the embassy officials, they admitted a press release that that has been reduced now to 100 days. So that opens up the pipeline to be able to import more nurses. Remember, the salary difference is tremendous difference. And I know that Pakistan exports nurses to Dubai and other areas. For many countries, most of them do not pay what United States pay. Most nurses make six figures, over hundred thousand dollars in the United States. Uh, so you can imagine that economic development that that makes when those nurses send home money home to their family. But it helps us in New York. These are bilateral agreements. In the area of education, K to 12, we reached an agreement with one of your schools. We want to reach most of your public schools, uh, the Happy Home Schools. I know it's here in uh, Karachi, and later on we're going to be do donating uh, video conferencing equipment. They have already met with our schools in New York, and they are making. They made a commitment, an agreement, where the curriculum will include a, a student, a cultural exchange between our students from first grade up until 12th grade. Our students in New York will grow up having friends in Pakistan, we'll studying, uh, learning from teachers in Pakistan. Pakistani students will learn from teachers in New York, and it will go a long way to help the relationship, the people-to-people -people relationship that can overcome some of the perceptions and some of the conflicts that we have in our relationship. Uh, and in the area of, um, uh, of health, uh, we realize that not only nurses, but we have a shortage of uh, we have a shortage of pharmacists also. So we have met with officials here, and we have come here, and because we broke the ice after uh, AP Pack has traveled, has set up uh, set up uh, segments in every state of United States, and what they did is they engaged elected officials to be able to create the political will to start talking to Pakistan. I was the first one that agreed to come here. We have uh, opened the door, and I have been approached by two states who want to come here as well. And could you imagine if New York State's budget is pretty much equal to Pakistan's budget? That's just one state. Could you imagine if 50 states start doing trade with Pakistan, start importing nurses from Pakistan, start doing many agreements with their students with Pakistan, the tremendous impact that this would have on both our countries. That is the concept of what we are doing. So collectively, I would like to say that the message of this mission here, of APPAC, of my colleague on the other side of the aisle, and this is a bipartisan effort. We ask Pakistan to approach this in a bipartisan way as well. My colleague is Republican, I am Democrat. And we have agreed to lead by example and come here and ask that they do the same here and collectively we can work to help both our, our people, our uh, citizens in both our countries. The collective message of our mission is Pakistan and New York Zindabad. Russian Press Club to say something in the last. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And uh, I would like to say welcome to all of you, especially the delegation from the United States. As the, His Excellency told, 
there are uh, the American United People. Uh, this officer is uh, from the, the Republican and in the press club. The group is uh, having the governing body and having the governance. His name is also Democrats and comprising of two different side of the people. One, uh, the KUJ, the school and KUJ, Burma. Likewise, Mr. Bhatt, who is sitting here uh, and leading uh, the fraternity of the uh, group, and by myself, I'm leading uh, another group of the journalists, but we are together here in the interest of the uh, journalist community. So, you are most welcome in Karachi Press Club. I'm sorry, sir. Okay,